And so tonight we say hip hip chin chin 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 Tonight's lecture is rhythm. The beat. The driving force that holds our lives together. And so tonight we say hip hip chin chin. Hip hip chin chin. Hip hip chin chin. Hip hip chin chin 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 Visions of Excellence is a great program. I, would, uh, I feel that I really benefited from the Fourth Fridays and from the workshop. It basically establishes a great framework for uh, instructors coming into the district to uh, employ, like, uh, I believe there was a session on diversity, there was classroom management, and I believe those types of, uh, that type of information really helped uh, outline valuable information that I continue to use today. After teaching in the district with, uh, for about 25 years, uh, in and out of the district, uh, I had taught as an adjunct for several years, and coming into uh, the program after teaching that many years, 
there were so many valuable tools that I feel like I wasn't utilizing and it just became, allowed me to become much more aware of teaching strategies, uh, learning abilities from different types of students and different learning uh, capacities. It was really very informative and I feel like I've continued to use those tools uh, in my uh, teaching today. John is a great faculty member in the Arts, Humanities, and Social Sciences area. He's been very instrumental in helping the dance program grow. When I got here in the spring as an interim dean, the spring show was going on and um, I attended it for the first time in all my time that I've worked here. It blew me away, it really did, um, to see the students and their interest in John and how he interacted with them. It was really, really great. I believe there was an article that was, uh, I think it was toward the beginning of the notebook called The Heart of a Teacher. And I think after reading that, really helped establish the idea of what a teacher really is designed to do. And for me, it was just combining my passion, combining my love of, uh, of what I do and with teaching. And it made such a huge difference uh, as far as me as a teacher continues today. And I, I really feel strongly that I've with the tools that Ministries of Excellence provided has made me a, a, that much better of a teacher today. The skills that I've incorporated in VOE uh, range from teaching strategies to uh, students' learning capabilities. I feel like that's, those are a couple of different areas that I didn't really uh, integrate into my teaching as much as I could have and I felt like after going through the program learning better ways of approaching uh, material and students has made a big difference in my teaching. We have a great fine arts program here at Mountain View, and we've got great faculty ranging from the art department, dance department, uh, theater department, music department, humanities. Uh, this year was great because Mountain View's been celebrating its 40th anniversary, and I was able to put together a performance that highlighted our fine arts here at Mountain View, and it was a great event. We also uh, do a brown bag series, and I, I put this together to help mentor young students who want to learn how to choreograph. And this is a passion of mine. I, I freelance as a choreographer in the business still today. And I think one of the ideas is uh, to help students who've never even given the thought of being a choreographer uh, a chance to, to bud and bloom. And it's a passion of mine. And so I started this program to allow students to start choreographing. And we created this brown bag series to highlight those student choreographers, not only in the fall, but in the spring. I feel like um, since I've returned from VOE, we've done amazing things here at Mountain View College in the Fine Arts Department. Most of our Fine Arts faculty have gone through the program itself, and I feel like it's indicative of the program, and I think Mountain View is a great representation of the success of the VOE program. John is very kind-hearted, he's very honest, he's very open with his students. He puts everything he has into it, and so I don't think that anyone is more deserving of this award than John Merrifield. What's been so inspiring for me is to work with students over the last few years, um, and they come to me with no dance training at all. They have no idea what their potential is. For me to work with them uh, on the first days of dance class, to see them come back uh, after two years and some of them two or three years uh, to see their full potential bloom and for me to encourage them has been extremely, extremely rewarding for me as an instructor here at Mountain View College. If I were to share one thing with the Visions of Excellence class of 2010 and 11, it would be follow your passion. I feel very fortunate to work in a field and that I'm very passionate about. I'm very fortunate to be here at Mountain View College to share my, uh, with my students. Uh, my love of dance and my love of teaching. I feel that with Visions of Excellence combined with uh, the passion that you all have, must have for your field, that you'll be a success.
President of the United States. Sound generation engine set at dark mode. Obviously a major malfunction. <laughs> and it has uh, ground up worm size. <laughs> Welcome to Mountain View College. Hi, machine. What a boy. Somewhere along the way in your life, you knew you had to dance. Mountain View College knows exactly how you feel. We've had students dancing since 1970. All areas of dance, all levels of students. Qualified and accredited faculty will provide guidance for students to pursue career pathways in the field of dance studies. Whether your goal is to perform in a dance company, or to be a dance educator, or just for the joy of dancing, the Mountain View Dance Program is here to help you reach those dreams. Mountain View College provides the dance curriculum necessary to prepare students who plan to transfer to a four-year university. Mountain View offers a complete complement of dance courses in ballet, modern, and jazz technique, along with dance appreciation, hip-hop, and Latin dance for entry-level students as well as for intermediate and advanced students. Students that are interested in the area of choreography are encouraged to participate in our biannual brown bag dance series, which allows students to create and showcase their own work through the mentorship of our Mountain View College faculty. In addition, students are invited to audition for the Mountain View College Dance Company, our pre-professional dance ensemble, which is featured in our Mountain View College Dance Productions, along with our modern hip-hop and Latin performance classes. The Mountain View College Dance Department believes in real-world, practical dance performance opportunities and produces two large-scale, main-stage dance concerts each year.
Mountain View College dance concerts have become major community events and are one of the highlights in the Mountain View College Fine Arts program. Students at all levels will have the ability to perform before live audiences, both here at Mountain View College as well as other outside venues. this was you, then this is for you. Describe your feelings. Um, happy. Oh. Good, happy. Dun, 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 One word to describe your feelings. Happy. Oh, my uh, bad. She already used that. Yeah. Excited. That's good. That's good. <laughs> okay, you can have more than one word. Yeah. Have you had a good time? Yes. Is it a hard what? show? No, it's John's show. They're never hard. Okay. They're fabulous. Uh huh. Mark's on it. Hanging the screen again. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Not anybody can do this, John. You've got to be qualified. <laughs> <laughs> I am the president. You looking forward to being the spaceman at um, yes, Student Recognition wait. Day? Especially on Student Recognition Day. All right, yeah, let's lose this TV. Yeah, you're going to be wear, wearing a suit that old Robert sweat in. Oh, man, that sounds phenomenal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you'll think it. Have you had a good time? Have you had a good time? Yes, I did. All right, excellent, excellent. Oh, John Merrifield is actually moving scenery and stuff. John Merrifield pulling a giant... Yes. Tank. CO2 on the roll. CO2 tank. John, why are you doing this? This is kind of weird. It's a weird image. You want to switch tanks? This is, this is going to be weird to take out there. You want to create it and put this one on that one and take
just what I needed. Someone hanging around my neck, a helpless thing depending on me, depending on me to bear it. <coughs> Yeah.
anybody there? Does anybody care? Does anybody see what I see?
college shop. It never really changes, does it? Yeah, right up there, right there is a wad of modeling clay stuck to the wall. And another one right there. Yes, sir. I threw those wads of modeling clay up there with Barry Hebner, later known as Barry Cuda, lead guitarist for the Nerve Breakers, one of the first punk rock bands in Dallas. <laughs> and I were in here supposedly working on props for Jesus Christ Superstar building these big hats for the priests which were molded in clay and then turned into fiberglass I see bad things arising the crowd crowd of king which the Romans would ban and we got bored started throwing wads of clay as hard as we could against the wall this was 1975 and they're still there it's 2010. 39!
But even now, your vital votes are being counted. And as our cats depart backstage, where even now, your vital votes are being Performance Hall, 2008, May, last part of May, and this is the current configuration. Soon all this will change for the first time since 1970 when it was built. These are all the original chairs. Back here, the spiral stairs are going to go away. The famous spiral stairs that lead under the stage and up to the fly rail. Yep. It's all going away for an elevator. Ooh boy, the backstage area could talk. That up there is the projection, is a booth for the follow spot operators. That's, but that's going to be the booth. And the booth, which is down here, which we're going to visit in a minute, is going to go away. This is a little panel, which opens up, and inside you see one of the original intercom systems. It's been, of course, torn up, so I would imagine it's going to go away forever. I thought I'd get a shot of it. I used to be able to call, I don't know if you can see it on the video here, but it says Arena office sure what those are but you used to be able to call from in here any place within the theater department this is what the booth looks like and has looked like for many years you've got some original light fixtures here original speakers up until recently in this hole over here there was a old soundboard and the same over here this is the booth. So this is all, of course, way overdue, but a lot of good memories in here. A lot of fun. A lot of great times in this booth. And then, all this will be a glass enclosed lobby. All the way down that way. All the way across the front, facing into the east foyer. Elevator will be right there to go up to the new booth. Up here it is, Recital 2008 Freestyle Show Productions. The last show in the Performance Hall in its current configuration, 1970 to 2008.